I've constantly been getting this news pushed on my Twitter feed. Harris urges ahead of Trump in 2024 race. Kamala Harris has taken a slight lead over Donald Trump in the 2024 US presidential race, according to a recent Reuters Ipsos poll. Harris, who replaced Joe Biden as a Democrat presidential candidate, leads Trump 44% to 42% among registered voters. This shift comes after Biden's decision not to seek re-election. Harris has been vocal in her criticism of Trump, particularly during her first campaign rally where she attacked him over issues of fear and hate. 270 to win aggregates all the polls, and before Biden quit, Trump was leading him nationally by about approximately 1.5-1.7%. 1 .1 These are the most recent polls after Harris took over. There are 22 of them. Uh, I can't see this Reuters poll mentioned anywhere. There'll be a few more when you see this, but it's not going to have changed things too much. Trump is in red, Harris is in blue, theoretically, because she doesn't actually put in a single appearance. There are two that are tied, and the other 20 are Trump leads, ranging from 1% to 8%. 22 polls in total, adding up to plus 60 for Trump, which gives an aggregate total of 2.7% lead. And for reference, remember that in 2016, Trump lost the popular vote by 2.1% to Hillary Clinton, but he won uh, the key swing states, so he won the presidency. Currently, rather than trailing by 2.1%, he's leading by 2.7%, which is almost a 5% improvement compared to 2016. And with a slightly lower lead over Biden, it was about one and a half. 2% in the polls, which are now historic, obviously. Trump was then leading in the polls in all the key swing states, and also in places like New Hampshire and New Jersey, which he wouldn't really expect to win. And that translates into this outcome, which is a stomping victory. Assuming the current 2.7% lead holds up in the election, that's pretty much the convincing result that you would expect to see. So to take all that and to extract this headline from it is about as far from the current reality as you can get. Things can still change. Trump took the catastrophically ill-informed decision to debate Biden when he had absolutely nothing to gain because he was leading and Biden was the one who needed to change things up and roll the dice. But Trump decided, because of his ego, to go ahead and have the debate. He won it! Biden did extremely badly, and it's almost certainly that that is the major cause, that was the major cause for him stepping out. Without that performance, he'd probably still be trundling along, and at this point, we'd pretty much be at the point of no return for Biden being locked in. So it's almost certainly Trump's bad decision to debate Biden, which, ironically enough, because he won the debate, has disadvantaged him by having Biden step out. And now, having done that, and sacrificed what was a certain win against Biden, he's now got no choice but to go ahead and have a debate with Harris. And that could also go catastrophically wrong for different reasons, i.e. he simply ends up not doing so well. When he's in the lead and doesn't have anything to gain, particularly from having a debate. So Trump's ego can still lose this. But at the moment, these media claims of Harris' success are absolutely nothing other than the far edges of fantasy.